Hi, welcome to the Conan Fitness Exercise of the Month or Workout of the Month. We're looking at overhead squat. We're going to be um, deconstructing that, going into some technique tips for you. We're also going to put it together with a single leg, stiff leg hop and renegade rows to put a bit of an all body workout for you. So let's look at the overhead squat. Okay, overhead squat. So we've got Carrie setting up to prepare for an overhead squat. What we're going to do is get feet positioned just outside shoulder width, so slightly wider. We want the toes to flare ever so slightly so that when she squats just slightly, the knees track out and they don't collapse inwards, which we don't want. I'm going to use a bit of a chock or a bit of a heel support here. All I'm doing is popping this just behind or just underneath Carrie's heels. Um, all this does is it limits the amount of uh, ankle flexion that we need for the bottom of this squat just to start with otherwise there's a tendency to fall back just until you get used to the overhead squat then we can take it away later once you've got your flexibility and you've got your balance so what we're going to do from this position is Carrie's going to start with her hands forward I want her to squat straight down into a like a crouch position and if you look from behind what we're going to do is get a bit of a bit of a stretch so once we're down here we're just going to let the knees flare out so we don't want the knees to collapse in we want the knees to flare out and we want the chest to be nice and tall. So from here, I'm going to get Carrie to place the hands straight up overhead. And if you look at this position, we want to get the bum as low as possible and the arms as far back as possible. So she's got this nice uh, upright stance. And this heel assist really helps with that. From there, we're just going to stand straight up in that overhead squat position. And a bit of an indication if you're doing it right is this. If I get a wall or a pole and I pop it just in front of Carrie straight up, only ever so slightly in front of her body. Her face shouldn't, go, face shouldn't go into the wall. If you did this six inches from a wall, your toes from a wall, and go for an overhead squat, keeping the body just like we did before. She's got plenty of room to play with. And straight back up. So there's our movement. The tendency will be, let, let's try it now just off the mat. So now no, no um, heel assist. The tendency will be to stop falling backwards. People are going to stick the chest forward more and hit that imaginary wall. So we really want to keep the, push the knees forward and out, forward and out, dropping the bum down, and try to keep the upright posture in the upper body. And that's the whole focus of an up, um, overhead squat. If the torso isn't upright, the arms are going to come forward and it's going to collapse. Let's try it with the weight now. Now you notice that Carrie has a fairly wide grip. It's really hard to have a narrow grip without the hands coming forward. So the wider it is, the easier it is to get almost behind you. So let's flick it up, and from an almost side angle, just have it straight above your ears, so about there, yep, so great. Straight up above the body, you'll see that her arms and the bar is pretty much a straight line from heels, hips, shoulders, and through your ears. As Carrie descends, the natural motion is for the chest and head to go slightly forward, it almost has to, which means at the bottom, the bar's just behind the ear and coming back up. Great, and bring it forward at the top, so that, that, that's straight up, that's straight. At the top, it'll be directly above your ear. At the bottom, the bar's in the same position, but your head comes slightly forward. It has to. Remember, not far enough to hit that wall. Let's try that again. But the bar will be slightly behind the ear, straight back up, and there's our overhead squat. Let's try three or four reps, just nice and consistent, probably a 45 degree angle there. That's it. Go for it. And strong up. Nice and low. Good. And it should just be a nice fluent motion. It goes slightly behind the ear and back to the ear. Slightly behind the ear and back. That'll do. Now let's put that together in a bit of a workout, guys, with stiff leg, single leg hop, and a renegade row. So starting with the bar on the back, like you've got a squat position, jump it up to overhead, and go straight into your overhead squats. You're going to be doing six repetitions. As soon as you've done your six overhead squats, dump the bar down straight into your single leg, stiff leg hop. The idea here is to have a, a powerful hip extension, and the hip extension is where you get all of your power thrusting you forwards. As soon as your leg hits the ground, aim to fall straight, to, to push your bum straight back into the next rep. Once you're done 12 on each side, come back 12 on the other side. And as soon as you finish your stiff leg uh, hops, aiming to touch your toe on each rep, then go straight into your renegade rows. The idea is to do 12 reps total, or 6 reps on each side. And as soon as you've finished those reps, then you're straight back into overhead squat for the second round and continue. Good luck.